Wedding night in Grand Rapids, devastated by a shooting, killing a man, nearly taking the life of the groom, and injuring two others. The shooter responsible learned his fate in court today as the judge issued a strong warning to West Michigan about firearms. News 8's Byron Thomas is there and has more. Byron? Multiple families will never be the same after a wedding night turned... Smash that like button, man. Hit that like button, man. Support the channel via PayPal Cash App with a super chat into tragedy you took away my first true love my son my first best my best friend brenda babbles has had a void that she can't fill ever since she lost her son armani acklin at just 25. we all have a hole a hole in our hearts now that can't be filled because of some little skinny punk is sitting there like they, they, they crazy having the people that close to the person, man. I don't know why they do that, man. That person it's shouldn't be impact. Yeah, man, but to be, so that he feels her emotion, I guess, because he's close to her. Mm -hmm. Because of just carelessness. Acklin was one of four people struck by gunfire in June of 2022 outside a bar on Pearl Street in downtown Grand Rapids. Oh, he didn't mean to kill her. Uh, see, that's why she said carelessness. He didn't mean to kill her son. He just was firing into the crowd. Because of just carelessness. Acklin was one of four people struck by gunfire in June of 2022 outside a bar on Pearl Street in downtown Grand Rapids. One of the victims, Marcellus Suttles, had been celebrating one of the happiest days of his life, getting married just hours before. These people just simply wanted to enjoy their wedding. Investigators say that 25-year-old Genesis Lewis and his father began fighting with the group outside. Police say there was a longtime feud between both families. And you and your father were in their face and, a, and then you decided to carry two guns to a fist fight. With the fight escalating, Lewis went back to his truck and pulled out two pistols. Lewis's attorney claims he did that to defend his father. His father was on the ground. So his father was laying on the ground. There were three men that were standing above him that were attacking his father. Investigators say the bride begged Lewis to stop and not make the situation any worse. Even before that, the bride came out and was in you and your father's face saying, please leave us alone, just go. This is our wedding day. But he didn't. Lewis fired 12 to 13 shots at the group, hitting four different people, including his own friend, Acklin, shooting him in the head and take- <laughs> He killed his own friend. Now this, what a twist, man. So this guy was his friend. And this low impulse control, um, Prognathistic half monkey, um, low IQ, proto human. I mean, listen, man, with a gun, man, you, you got a proto human with a gun. Killed his own friend. Went to the car, got a gun, came back, and just shot into the crowd. That's one of the most dangerous things about sons, that shooting into the crowd thing. Because even I understand that. Careless isn't the word for it. It's so much worse than careless. Yeah, definitely worse. Careless yeah. is like, oh, I, my <laughs> the air in my tire is too low, and you cause an accident because of that or some shit like that. It's careless. <laughs> No, but I understand the shooting into the crowd because, like, you be so angry, man, and your mentality is like, man, I'm shoot early. You just gonna shoot everybody right there, man. And I'm not saying that I would do something like that, but I I've, I've been angry like that where you just want to just come back and I know the mentality. We're we're different, man. Getting the oh. person is 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 important but it's not as important that's why we don't make good hitmen that's why we don't make good snipers that's why any job where precision like precision is, <laughs> is involved you know what i'm saying like anything where precision is involved we don't do well
and was in you and your father's face saying, please leave us alone, just go. This is our wedding day. But he didn't. Lewis fired 12 to 13 shots at the group, hitting four different people, including his own friend, Acklin, shooting him in the head and taking his life. And you shot him in the head and he's dead. You didn't mean to, but acting recklessly, discharging that gun 13 times, you hit the groom. Nine of the shots hit the groom, Suttles. His family members nice told Lucy that after he was shot, the bride used ties and belts to stop the bleeding, potentially saving his life. And the bride used ties and belts to stop the bleeding. Shout out to the bride, man. Shit. Ok, I think what you were talking about is called seeing red. I've heard yeah, stuff like that. Seeing and, uh, red and never experience anything like that. Seeing red and lacking precision. So you have both. Like even when you're not seeing red, you're not precise or you know what I'm saying? Precision is not a uh, um it's not something high on your list of whatever you're doing. I just view it as such a desperate mode to be in. Like, you're fundamentally desperate. Why are you so desperate? You know, I don't know. Maybe a glandular. Like, your, your glands, your, 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 your glands that respond to that stimuli are striking on a, di firing on different, you know what I'm saying, on a different waved in other people's glands who, who responded to that stimuli. When that stimuli hits us, it, it, it it's, it's an emergency and it's got to be handled immediately. And, you know, maybe that's because we're um, like the proto-humans, where it's like, we're not like the revised, refined copy. We're the iPhone 1. So that hasn't probably been tweaked or that um that glitch hasn't probably been fixed over you know over time. Um times either that or a curse. the groom nine of the shots hit the groom, Suttles. His family members told News Aid that after he was shot, the bride used ties and belts to stop the bleeding, potentially saving his life. It's a uh, a miracle of modern medicine that he did not die. Nine shots from a nine millimeter and he didn't die. A jury later found Lewis guilty of killing Acklin and injuring the rest. So all this time when she's sitting there talking, that's his friend's mother. And look at his demeanor while he's listening to his friend's mother talk about he's this. Being takes tough. On, yeah, it takes on different meaning, like He's trying to be, he's trying to play hard, hard, hard and shit while his friend's mother's telling him about her, how this impacted her. See what I'm saying? Like demons, like that's why, they, you know, he, he gets, he gets demons more Demons are 100% uh, real. Yeah, yeah. Hole in our hearts now that can't be filled because of just carelessness. Acklin was one of four people. He will spend at least three decades in prison. Lewis had no violent criminal record before the killing, and he had a concealed license to carry. Judge Mark Truce. He had no violent criminal history. That's a high threshold, right? Like, it, he, he hadn't killed anyone before this shooting. <laughs> He was 20 years old and he hadn't killed anyone before the shooting. And it's like, damn, yeah, but like, is that like, that's the threshold? <laughs> He'd yet to kill anyone at 20 years old before the shooting. He was a great guy. What's most important? But the other things, they don't, they, they he might have had like 20 stolen car arrests. Bunch of fucking, you know what I'm saying? Carjack. Like, we don't know like what's on his rap sheet, but we just know he didn't kill anybody before. He... Shots from a nine millimeter and he didn't die. A jury later found Lewis guilty of killing Acklin and injuring the rest. It's always going to be a hole in my heart from this situation due to his loss.
Lewis apologized at his That's sentencing first day, saying he will accept his punishment for taking his friend's life. What's most important to me is that Armani gets justice. He's no longer here with us. He will spend at least three decades in prison. Lewis had no violent criminal record before the killing, and he had a concealed license to carry. Judge Mark Trusock issuing a warning. He had a concealed carry license, but a son man with a concealed carry license is the same as a proto-human with a concealed carry license. It doesn't, like for instance, when other groups get concealed carry licenses and you look at them funny at the gas station or you bump into them at the store, their concealed carry license isn't for that. Sun men, when we get a concealed carry license, we're getting it for those types of situations. <laughs> Press one. Whether it's because we know those types of situations escalate because of our experience in our community. or That's because, what happens in the hood. Yeah, or because we might just want to be tough or some shit like that. We might want to be badass or some shit. It could be either one, but... When a son man has a concealed carry, it's because, you know, you you flipped him off in traffic. <laughs> he ain't get a concealed carry that, you know, like, if my back is against the wall and that's the last resort. Nah, some man got his concealed carry because you fucking um, called him a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> it just is what it is, man. I didn't make it that way. It is what it is. He will spend at least three decades in prison. Lewis had no violent criminal record before the killing, and he had a concealed license to carry. Judge Mark Trusock issuing a warning to West Michigan to be especially careful with guns and think before you use them. Under both circumstances, people don't realize that they are not police officers and how serious it is when you pull that trigger. Armani's what? mother told Lewis that she will try to forgive him one day. Fired into a crowd. Son, because that's what Armani would want. She told Lewis she hopes he yeah, becomes... Yeah, but he, he's don't do judges. that. Yeah, these woke judges, man. These woke judges, man. Um, 